हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम अभय कुमार एंड आई वेलकम यू टू पर्ल प्रोग्रामिंग ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज सो नाउ इन दिस सेशन लेट्स सी व्हाट इज अ पर्ल सो पर्ल इज अ प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज डेवलप्ड बाय लैरी वॉल एंड इट्स एन एक्रोनिम फॉर प्रैक्टिकल एक्सट्रैक्शन एंड रिपोर्ट लैंग्वेज it's very powerful high level programming language and the main advantage of perl is it doesn't require any compiler or linker so any favorite editor you can use to write your program once your program is ready you can directly using a perl execute that particular script it's a scripting language so if you know shell script or any other windows scripting language like batch scripts on windows so similarly like these shell scripts and batch scripts does not require any compile or link link step you can directly execute those on respective operating system so similarly once you have your perl script ready you can directly execute that on a command prompt and you have the output so let's see what are the uses of perl before that let's understand why perl is popular perl is popular due to its process file and text manipulation facilities let's say you know c program you want to write some simple text manipulation program in c like search for some pattern and replace with something else so regular expression support in c you will have to write either you will have to use some predefined libraries and then do your substitute or you have to write your own function for regular expression handling similar thing that you can do in perl in just two statements first is have the variable and then have the match and substitute function or operator so similarly there are various other file and process manipulation facilities available with the perl that's why perl is very popular because of its features that supports process file and text manipulation it's mostly used for quick prototyping system utilities software tools system management tasks database access this is one of the major activity that we generally do we access various databases sybase then db2 then oracle any database that you name mysql any database that you can access from perl there are various modules available in perl like we have a libraries in c program or in java we have some readily available libraries similarly there are modules available in perl using which we can access various databases then we can have graphical programming also using perl we can do a networking network programming and web programming is also supported by the perl if you know some basic construct constructs of the perl programming then you can easily have your web web development done using C, using something called as a cgi script cgi script basically uses perl for doing the actual coding and like this there are many more applications or uh, many more tools that those are developed using perl so what are the prerequisites for learning the perl for learning the perl there are two prerequisites the first is you should know basic programming concept if you know any one of the programming language you know how to build a logic you know how to design some particular tool or i mean designing aspect of the programming if you know basic programming concept then that's good for learning the perl apart from that you should know unix operating system so once you know basics of unix operating system it is easy for you to relate 
what is available in Perl. Let's say you are studying something called as a system command or system statement in Perl. So system statement is used to execute something. So let's say there are some modules available in Perl, but still there are some functionalities which are not available in Perl and you have to use system and using system you need you, you you will be required to execute some command on command prompt and once that command output is ready you have to consume it so for executing something on command prompt you should know something called as a basic unix commands or shell some shell scripts so basics of unix operating system is one of the prerequisite for perl so let's see from where to get Perl. We can get a Perl from, I mean, we can use the Perl from two different options that we have. Like the first option that we have available is Unix operating system. So along with every Unix operating system nowadays, there is a Perl available as an inbuilt one of the modules that gets installed along with any operating system I mean any Unix operating system so it's a part and parcel of Unix operating system for Windows we have one free version available from active state so you can directly go to this website activepearl.com or you can directly go to activestate.com slash activepearl from this particular website there is a freeware version available for Perl which will run on Windows so once you have that particular flavor of Perl available on Windows you can use that to practice your Perl programs and if you have a Unix operating system available then you can directly go to terminal of that particular operating system and directly execute simple Perl statements or simple Perl scripts that you will be developing. So from next topic onwards, let's let's start using Perl. Thank you.